everyone, it is I, Jessie, and today's video I'm going to be doing an unhaul. As you can tell by my messy, messy bookshelves behind me, I have run out of room multiple times and had to reorganize. One day I was like, I really don't have room for all these books and I needed to desperately go through books that I knew I wasn't going to read or I had double copies of and did not need. Now I apologize because I know there's going to be some people watching who might want some of these books and who are going to comment below asking me, but I do not have the money to ship them. So I do keep them. I'm not currently gonna donate them quite yet because every time my friends come over a new friend comes over I let them go through the box and take what they want. So originally I had two full boxes now that my friends have come over I am down to one box. Oh, I can hardly lift a box because it's a big box. This is full of books. Pretty much I'm going to be going through this box. I may not have reasons for some of the books. I'm just gonna go through fast. I'm not gonna give synopsis and stuff because this isn't a haul. It's an unhaul. Let's get into the unhaul. Disclaimer, there are so many books in this box. I might not go through them all if I feel like they're not worth mentioning. I also apologize in advance if I somehow offend you if I'm getting rid of your favorite book. But maybe it just wasn't for me. First off, I have this book called Speaks to the Nightbird by Robert McCammon. I never even bought this book. I just found it one day on a park bench and somebody had left it somewhere. So I took it. Don't know why, I should've just left it. Next book I have here is The Merc and Midnight Hour. So this book I absolutely adore. Like, look at that cover. It's so dark and beautiful and so up my alley. But then I found out that this is the second book in the series and it's not the first. And I don't own the first book and I don't know if I'll be getting it anytime soon. So I was like, there's no point keeping it. Next book I have here is this dystopian novel called Ninth City Burning by J. Patrick Black. The reason I was unhauling this I think is because I already have copies so I didn't need to. I have quite a few Outlander books in this box as well. I am beginning to collect them in hardcover and these are the mass market paperbacks which are kind of big and clunky so I'm unhauling them so I can finish my collection of hardcovers instead in their place. Next up this book is called Of Bone and Thunder, a novel by Chris Evans. This cover is so gorgeous. I have 5,000 books. I don't know if I'm ever going to get to read it and I'm not too much a fan of mass market paperbacks. I don't know. I just don't like holding them or reading them. That's why you'll see a bunch of those in here. Next we have this book here called Conversion by Katherine Howe. Um, I've heard very mixed things from every single one of my friends. They've said it's confusing. They're like, just don't bother reading it. So I'm listening to the opinion of like three of my friends and I'm just getting rid of it. Next we have After the End, which honestly sounded really cool to me at the time. It's a dystopian novel. My friend had told me about it. My dad started reading it and he said it was boring. So unhaul. Next we have You in Five Acts, which is like a dance book, I think. But I'm no longer a dancer, so I'm not sure if that book will resonate with me as much, though I figured somebody else who finds it in the library might appreciate it more. Next, I have this book called Almost Autumn by Marianne Korin, and this was a World War II book, I believe, that was set in Poland, I think. Think. Boys, I started reading it and I got like 100 pages in and I just got bored and the whole time nothing caught my attention so I never finished it. Next we have this book called Uprising which I've owned for like five years and I've never read and I figured if I've never read it when am I going to? Originally I just bought this for like a dollar to use bookstore because I love the cover so much but I'm not gonna read it so there's no point keeping it. Who's texting me? Next up I have these two Lauren Conrad books. I was a big fan of Lauren Conrad. I liked all the clothes she designed so I read her other trilogy which I really liked the white covered ones and then I had these two they were her other trilogy that I read was just okay so I don't really have any interest in picking these up anytime soon unhaul next up I have a book that was handed to me for free one time at Barnes Noble called air by Ryan Gaddis the plot just didn't sound like my style so Next we have this contemporary called The Last Forever. I don't read much contemporary so there's quite a bit of contemporary in this box. This is Human Point Four. I just finally decided to get rid of it because that cover kind of disturbs me. Next we have this book by Matt De La Pena called The Hunted. Um, I don't think this is the first book in this series so that's why I'm not keeping it. Next we have a book called A Window Opens by Elizabeth Egan. I think that's an adult book. Another Outlander book. We have Kissing Ted Callahan and Other Guys by Amy Spaulding. I think this book just kind of sounded too immature for my age level. Then we have these books right here. Graduation Day. An Independent Study by Joel Charbonneau. I don't think I really had an interest in reading these books because they just sounded kind of like Divergent and The Hunger Games to me, like dystopian, and I was kind of done with dystopian, at least for a little while because I'm kind of dystopian now. Also, my dog ate this book. I don't want an eaten book. I wasn't gonna read it anyway. I think those were also my dad's books too, so they weren't really mine, like he read them 
and he finished them so I don't need to keep them. <laughs> Next we have The Eye of Minds by James Stashner. I think I got these books for free at Comic Con. I'm honestly one of those very few people who did not like The Maze Runner. I tried reading it five times and never got through it. I had no interest in keeping his book and I'm sorry for everybody who's gonna hate me for saying that. Next we have this book called Something Like Fate by Suzanne Colazanti. I read one of Suzanne's other books. It was good. Not my favorite. I have no interest in reading this. Like I said, I'm not a big contemporary fan. Fan, fan. London Falling by Paul Cornell. Again, mass market paperback. I have Reached by Ali Condi. It's been so many years that these books have been on my shelf that I was gonna read them, but I have too many other books that I wanna read more that I'm never gonna get to this series because I've just heard too many mixed things about this series. I'm not gonna give them a chance, at least not right now, maybe later in life. Then we have this book right here called The Blind Astronomer's Daughter. Originally, this book really intrigued me and I thought the cover was absolutely gorgeous. And I got this last year at PEA, I think it's an art. I read a bunch of reviews for it and they weren't that good. So I was like, ah. We have a copy of To Kill a Mockingbird because I already have a hardcover copy. I didn't need that copy. We have this one called The House I Love. Again, just one that I don't think I'll ever get around to. And this one is not a book that interests me, I don't think. I just got it randomly for free. Convention last year. And same with this one. Like, it may be a good book. It's just a different story that I just didn't pique my interest. That's what a lot of these books are. We have this one called A Portrait of Emily Price by Catherine Riai. City of Rose by Rob Hart. This selection novellas book. This one is The Seer of Shadows by Avi. This is actually a double copy because I already own this in hardcover so I'm getting rid of the paperback because if you know me I prefer hardcover over paperback. So wow, that was actually faster than I thought it was. I'm gonna need to go through my books again sometime soon eventually because I'm running out of room once again and it's really helped my bookshelves when I got rid of a bunch of these. I did not mean any offense towards any author of any of these books I'm getting rid of. They're just books that I don't see myself reading in the near future or have double copies of or for different reasons. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. Maybe I'll do another one if you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to subscribe to keep updated for future videos and yeah I will see you next time bye see you later so do you guys like how I slightly changed my lipstick and just put on a new t-shirt pretend like I'm filming on a separate day but I'm really filming on the same day as the previous video I filmed I'm just too lazy to put makeup on every day so I was like double filming